What is mindfulness for weight loss and what do we mean by it? And we want to share this information with you because mindfulness, insight meditation, the practice of looking inwardly and seeing things as they are, and how you can change your mindset and help yourself get to the point where you can actually win your struggles against weight loss. It's a tool. Mindfulness is a tool that has become exceedingly popular recently. Only a few years ago, the general public would not be familiar with the term, whereas today is something we hear about all the time in a range of different contexts. And that's why we're trying to bring this video to you to give you a better understanding. In some ways, this is a good thing. Mindfulness is a great tool to be aware of and it can be used to greatly improve your concentration, awareness, and happiness. But at the same time, it's also a bad thing because it's been misappropriated in many instances and many people don't actually understand what it means anymore. With that in mind, let's take an in-depth look at what mindfulness is and what it isn't and how you can start using it to improve your life and to improve your waistline and your health. A person's mind is so powerful, we can invent creative experience and destroy things with thoughts alone. And this means we could lose the weight, reduce the fat with the power of our mind. We are not helpless. The basics. Mindfulness is often used to describe a type of meditation. Specifically, mindfulness meditation is a type of meditation that involves reflecting on the contents of your own mind and how they may affect you. Whereas the point of some forms of meditation, such as transcendental meditation, is to completely empty your mind, the point of mindfulness is instead of simply detach yourself from your thoughts and become an observer. This way you can prevent them from affecting you in the same way you can also gain a greater understanding of the contents of your own thoughts. Often this is described as watching the thoughts go past like clouds. The idea is not to engage with them or let them affect you, but simply to avert, observe them and later reflect on how they might impact your happiness. Your mind is powerful thing, is a powerful thing. When you fill it with positive thoughts, your life will start to change. And when you start to put in your mind that you can lose the weight, then you can win the struggle, then you can stop eating carbs like you have in the past, to give up the pizza, the donuts, the cookies, the cake, and all the things that have caused you to gain weight. Because understand, it's sugar that's making you fat, not fat. Let's get that through your head and think about that point while you're doing your basic meditation and looking from the outside, looking in. Other uses. By doing this, mindfulness allows us to take some time out of our stressful day to remove ourselves from our thoughts and thereby give some rest and relaxation and get some rest and relaxation. But it's not really just about meditation. What mindfulness also means is being constantly aware of your own thoughts as you go throughout your day. Some people will tell you to be mindful of your body or mindful of your environment. But really what you should be focusing on is just what you're mindful of. Next time you go out for a nice walk with family or next time you do something else that you should be enjoying, just make a note of whether you really focus on what you're doing and whether you're actually engaging in it. Or is your mind elsewhere? Are you actually worrying about work or stressed about other things? Mindfulness teaches us to be more aware of our thoughts as that way. We can decide why we're not going to let them affect us and because that way we can then make the conscious effort to refocus and decide to be happy. Mindfulness is not mysticism or linked to religion and it's not a cure-all therapeutic technique. All this is a tool, and better yet, a state of mind. With practice, you can learn to be more in tune with your own thoughts, and that can change everything. And that goes with your eating habits.
You know, you have to change your eating habits if you're going to finally win the battle against fat. You're going to have to have a different attitude. You're going to have to have a different mindset. And mindfulness and being aware of what you're eating, what you're putting in your body, the damage that it's doing to your body, how it affects your gain, how it affects your, how you fit into clothing. Being mindful will help you lose the weight in an easy way. Mindfulness is paying attention on purpose in the present moment and non-judgmentally to the unfolding of experience moment to moment. The food you're putting in your body is affecting your body. Be aware of it. Be mindful of what you're doing to your body. Be mindful of the damage the sugar does to your body. Be mindful. Pay attention. Mindfulness for weight loss. Mindful practices like meditation are being used as tools to improve health, lessen pain, and dodge sickness in large part because they reduce stress. And since stress is often at the root of overeating, mindfulness seems to speak to us to eat better meals, which means it's likely possible to lose weight without dieting. Now, without dieting means not struggling with food, not having a, a, what we call dieting. What it is is getting to the point in your life where you've made a conscious decision to be an observer of what's going into your body, of being an observer of how hard it is to fit into clothes, to be an observer of what's going on in your life, how it affects you, how your health is affected, how sugar and what the food industry has been doing to you. Be an observer. Be mindful. And as it says here, mindfulness seems to make us eat better meals. Which means it's likely possible to lose weight without dieting. It's not a diet. It's a lifestyle. It's a decision. Mindfulness isn't difficult. We just need to remember to do it. And that's exactly it. You have to remember to be conscious of what you're putting in your body. To make it easier for you, we make available to you on the SaturdayMorningDiet.com forward slash Mindfulness for Weight Loss. It's a wonderful program that we make available. It's going to be in the description box below. And please subscribe to the Saturday Morning Diet. Share this information with everybody on your mailing list. And help us get the word out and help people lose the weight through the power of willful and mindfulness for weight loss. See you in the next video. Wish you the best. Take advantage of the special offer. Bye-bye.